One of the tools to help people suffering from COVID-19, monoclonal antibody therapy, is in short supply and being rationed by the federal government. As LAX 18's Mike Valenti explains, a new distribution process is leaving hospital staff unsure of how many people they can help each week. Last week, Kentucky administered more than 5,000 monoclonal antibody treatment courses. But as Governor Andy Bashir warned on Monday, this week, the state is only receiving 4,960 courses, and the number of shipments will keep declining. There's going to be too few everywhere, and we're already seeing hospitals and other providers run out uh, before the end of each week. Count Clark Regional Medical Center in Winchester as one of those providers. It's hard to try to do our jobs and treat as many of these patients as we can, but not have the all the resources that we would like to have available to, to do so. Spencer Bolton is the pharmacy director at Clark Regional. He says that for people at high risk of getting very sick from COVID-19, a one-time infusion has proven to be successful in keeping the symptoms mild. And hopefully that prevents them from progressing on to a more severe disease and having to come back and be admitted to the hospital. Hospitals used to be able to order directly from suppliers, but now the federal government is capping shipments, sending an equitable amount to states. From there, the state distributes the courses to hospitals. In a press release last week, Clark Regional CEO said the recent change in access to monoclonal antibodies was a surprise to many hospitals, including Clark Regional Medical Center. 